Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Granite Photo 5 video. Today we're checking out Coastal Callouts yet again, and it actually has another update to it. PNW Parks fan has been doing a lot of work on it, we'll be checking out the latest update of Coastal Callouts here today. So, there is a new helicopter by Skyline GTR Freak. And we're going to go ahead and check it out. It is the AS332 Super Puma helicopter, which is a nice and large heavy rescue helicopter, as we see coming into our view right here. So this is Rescue 5, based off of the real-life Rescue 5, which is part of the Los Angeles County Sheriff Department. So this helicopter looks awesome. It is very detailed. It is huge. If you look at the... um up there the engines and everything like this thing is huge we actually do have a co-pilot inside as well we also have a female co-pilot which is pretty cool first time that it spawned us a female so let's take a look at this helicopter here guys this thing looks awesome and we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this i think we're gonna do a nice train and flight today take it out see how it flies and um check out the interior of it as well so pretty much uh, in real life they use this thing for uh, all type of rescues from mountain rescues to water rescues I got the cockpit too it looks very detailed the inside back here is very nice as well so yeah um, mountain rescues water rescues they also help out with homeland security they do SWAT insertions uh, marijuana eradications and they help out with natural disasters and um, strategic movement of equipment and personnel and this is a large helicopter that could fit a lot of people they actually have a five-man crew as well two pilots and three SWAT medics so it holds a lot of stuff as you can see let's see if we could get into it all right so let's go ahead and get inside all right how you doing so we have a deputy here wow look at the interior of this thing this is beautiful guys. This is nice. This is a really nice tier. We're gonna have some fun flying this. I think I'm thinking about flying this through the canyon areas today. So we can really test it out and try it out. And also guys, um, if you guys want to check out coastal callouts, it is a beta callout. It is not um, out to the public yet, but you could try it out a little bit early if you check out the parks benefactor program. Oh we could use a actually use the left rear on this one. Oh, no, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, we're in hover mode, so I guess. No, okay. I did not plan for that to happen, but I guess it's okay. Alright, so she's gonna go ahead and take off. We should probably close the doors, right? I, d I didn't think she was gonna take off when I um switched seats, but I forgot that does happen. So let's go ahead and close the doors here. Alright, so she has us in a nice hover now. So let's check out the interior of this. Very, very nice. Very nice helicopter here. Let's check out some of the other seats. So we have that one. Let's see what else we have. We have the right rear, which puts us right out here. Very cool. So right now we're hanging out the uh, side. Very, very cool. All right, let's check out some of the other seats here. So we have seat three. That puts us back inside over here. Very, very cool. Alright, so let's switch back to the pilot seat. Alright, so we're going to take over control of the aircraft. And, wow, look how big the rotor blades are. Like, this is a really large aircraft, really large helicopter here. So we're going to go ahead and take off, guys, and let's, let's fly it around. Let's try it out. Wow, look at that. This looks pretty awesome. So, Rescue 5 is now in game. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, so, let's try it out. We're going to try to learn this new helicopter. It does have a hoist, obviously, for helping out with the rescues as well. Now, we are on duty. Let's go ahead and go available. So, just in case there are any rescues or anything like that, we will be able to help out with them. So, we are available. Dispatch may give us some calls if they get any. But, um, yeah, I want to kind of fly through this canyon here. Let's... Oh, my goodness. Whoa, that was close. Okay. 
That was pretty close there. Alright, let's fly through this canyon over here. I'm going to do a little bit of first person and third person because this looks really cool. So we do have jurisdiction over the whole entire county, so pretty much we can respond to incidents anywhere. Wow, this looks so nice. Look at this, guys. Alright, let's not get too low here. Oh, look at that. Waterfall looks pretty cool there. Over the bridge. And we are now at the Alamo Sea. It's pretty cool. And we have to do another sheriff patrol out here too with the new sheriff boats for Costa Calls as well. So we'll probably patrol uh, this Alamo Sea maybe in our next Costa Call Outs video. Alright, so that was one canyon. Let's uh, fly through this canyon over here. This should wrap us around near Fort Zancudo. Wanna make sure we stay out of their airspace of course, but very, very nice helicopter. Let me know what you guys think about this helicopter down in the comment section down below. And I really am excited to try to use this one in a rescue. Attention all Coast Guard units, an SOS call for a civilian requiring assistance and Wilderness. Okay, so we are getting a call here for a stranded hiker on a coast. We haven't did this one yet. So we got a 911 call. It was, I went through the Coast Guard dispatch actually, but they're dispatching it to us. So we have a person stuck near Chiliad Wilderness and he got stuck attempting to climb down a cliff. All right, so let's check our map. It looks like he, <laughs> is he stuck on a road? Alright, it looks like he's stuck near a road, but let's go ahead and check it out. Now, I did do a little bit of research about the uh, Los Angeles Sheriff Department and the Rescue 5 crew, and it's pretty cool. Um, in certain situations, they do land and do law enforcement, which is pretty cool as well. So, like, say if there's a runner or a criminal running like an open field, they have landed and apprehended the suspect, which is pretty cool. Alright, so there's believed to be one victim involved. It looks like he's right by a road, but um, maybe he's not in a place where ground units can get to him. So we'll find out in a second. Looks like it's going to be one male. Oh my god, look at all these planes flying all over the place. And that jet is going to cross right in front of that Cessna there. Wow, lots of air traffic here. Alright, so this is the first canyon we went through, guys. Alright, so let's see exactly where they are at. I'm trying to keep eyes on that plane. Hey, where are you banking, man? Be careful. He is like right with us, too. Alright, I think we're. Holy crap, that was close. Alright, so person seems to be here. Somewhere here. We gotta actually search. So they're probably on this cliff somewhere. So let's... Let's go... Let's get rid of this first. Let's switch to the co-pilot seat. I'm gonna let the co-pilot fly right now. I'm gonna use the flare, the forward infrared camera here. Or actually we'll just use a regular camera first. And... Oh, the camera's actually on the side of the aircraft. That's pretty interesting. Alright, so let's see if we can find a person here. I do have to remember to change that key binding with um, police smart radio there. Alright, I see somebody there, but obviously this person is the person that we're looking for. Alright, not seeing anybody yet. Let me instruct my pilot to go ahead and lower her altitude a little bit. I should do. Alright, 
225 should be okay. Alright, so we're searching this area. There's a lot of people walking around. Where the heck are they? I'll switch to our thermals so we could get a better view. Now the thermal does pick up all heat signatures, so... Even people that are, even like, animals and stuff like that. Let's get a closer look over there. I think that may be the person we're looking for. I've got eyes on the target. Yep, that's our, that's our victim right there. Alright, so we located our victim here. Let's try to move into for a rescue here. So, this is going to be a tricky point here because they're on a pretty steep cliff here. There they, there they go. So it looks like it's going to be a male, and he's calling for help here. So we have found our person that we are looking for. Alright, so let's come out of here. Um, let's see. We're going to have to try to get a little closer here. So what I'm going to do is instruct my pilot to try to get as close to him as she can here. She's going to try to hold the hover here. Um, Altitude-wise... I don't think we're going to be able to get much lower here. This is going to be a pretty long hoist. But we pretty much have no choice right now. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty long hoist. We're going to go ahead... Oh, shit. I didn't do that. We're going to go ahead and go to the rear. Alright, so we're at the rear here. Alright, let's just make sure we have our helmet on here. Alright, so we have our helmet on. Now let's go ahead and enable the hoist. Alright, the voice is enabled. That looks really cool there. Alright, so let's get ready to go ahead and perform the voice now. So the person is directly below us. I think we're at a good altitude. I don't want to get too low here, so let's go ahead and just switch to the... Alright, here's the voice camera. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get on to the line there and we're going to go ahead and start lowering our person down so you kind of see below us um, the person is directly below us here so we're lowering down our medic here let's go ahead and make the grab it's going to be a pretty long hoist but like I said we're on the side of a cliff so we don't want to get too low there's a lot of trees and obstructions here alright so so far so good uh, should be coming up on him pretty soon. Let's go ahead and switch here. Continue going down. This is a really steep clip too. There's no way he would have been able to climb down or climb up. And there's no way that a, a ground this would have been able to grab him here. So this was definitely a good call for us. Let's see. We still have a ways to go here. That's a pretty long hoist there. We're at a hundred and almost 200 feet of the rope and I think that's all we got there guys that is all we got all right we are so close if I could just uh oh all right if we could just get like right over here see this is gonna be a little tricky here we're like really close to where we want to be but we are out of hoist so I want to lower my altitude, but it's going to be really dangerous here. And we're going to have to kind of go up a little bit at the same time. There we go. See, we're kind of coming down hot. All right. Good, 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 good. Gain altitude, gain altitude. Now let's go ahead and set that to automatically go up. All right. So we are on the cliff. That was pretty good. Oh, let's not fall off here. You okay, sir? Oh, let's not fall off. You okay, sir? Everything's going to be all right. I'm going to go ahead and get you out. You have any injuries? No injuries? You're okay? Alright, so he has no injuries. Uh, we, we should be able to just get him up in one hoist here, I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and switch back to the other camera here. <laughs> Damn, that was a really long hoist there. We're going to go ahead and lower our altitude a bit. We just got to watch these trees here. So we're lowering our altitude. Now, um... I don't think we're gonna really need a rescue basket. Are you okay? No injuries, right? No back problems, you're able to stand up on your own? This guy's wearing like slippers. Oh no, sandals, okay. So he doesn't have any 
problems or anything like that. I think we're going to be able to grab him without using the... Uh, he definitely doesn't need the stretch and I don't think we're going to need the rescue basket. So let's go ahead and grab him or just pull him up. We're going to hook him up to our harness and then we're just going to pull him up. So let me go ahead and get him up here. Alright, so we got him. Waiting for the hoist to come down here. Where are we even at? I don't even see ourselves. Oh, there it there goes. Alright, so this is a really long hoist, guys. Alrighty. Very spot on. Our pilot's doing a great job. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and what am I trying to do? Let's set it to be neat and let's go ahead and try to hook up to the place here. It's gonna be a little tricky trying to get on. Oh, holy crap, that was close. Oh, that was really close. Actually, we literally nearly fell off. Alright, up, 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 up. Damn it. <laughs> we ended up in the tree a little bit there. That's because he's trying to follow the pet there. Alright, it's all good. So we're carrying him, we're holding him, we got him hooked up into our harness here. And we're going up. Alright, nearly are at the helicopter here. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and place him, him into the helicopter first. Alright, he's inside. He got a seat. And let's go ahead and get in ourselves. Alright, we are now inside. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and transport him. Let's see. We could take him to a couple different places. There's really no trauma centers we could fly him to. So what we'll do is we'll... um. We'll take him to the sheriff's station, and the, the hospital is right down the block, so an ambulance would meet us there, and then um, they'll transport him there. So let's go ahead and get inside. Let's make sure he's okay first. So let's get inside. Alright, where is he at? This helicopter is so big. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Alright, you okay, sir? Alright, we're going to get you back to the sheriff's station. Uh, we're going to have an ambulance waiting for you uh, from there, and they'll transport you to the hospital to get checked out, alright? Okay, so his vitals are okay. Looks like he's going to be perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and switch back to the pilot seat here. Then it's seven seats back here. Wow. Oh, there we go. That's a nice close one. Alright, so checking his vitals. Everything's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him... To the sheriff station and from there um, we'll be able to get him to the hospital. Alright, so I have control of the helicopter here. Go ahead and delete the voice. Oh, we got shots fired somewhere. Shots fired. Let's make sure everybody's okay. Got deputies shooting. Looks like the deputy's okay. They had a, those GTI pursuits. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue. We're going to drop off our patient. Just straight up loving the scenery here. This is really awesome. I love flying out here in the county areas. And I want to try out that, um, that Y-Map mod as well that adds those huge redwood trees. We have it in our Cuffs 5M server. It's pretty cool. I want to try it out in our single player series so we can try it out with all these awesome helicopters we have. That's the sheriff station, I mean the coast guard station right there. We have to go back there. We haven't been there in a while. Alright, so let's go ahead and go in for a land in here. We're back at the sheriff station. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode here. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you did. Let's go ahead and land here. Looks like we're a little too far. We're going to have to go back a bit. 
Alright, so there should be an ambulance here on standby. And they have the parking lot clear. So I'm going to go ahead and land. We're going to land sideways just because it's a little easier to get the patient out once the, um, the uh, ambulance pulls up. So we are down. Alright. Got the patient into the ambulance there. And they're going to transport them. I gotta switch back to a regular ambulance. Alright, so let's load up heli taxi. I'm just gonna try to line up the helicopter a little bit better here. So heli taxi is another plugin by PW Parks fan. And it lets you taxi helicopters that have wheels and also vertical vertical takeoff um <laughs> uh, airplanes as well. Whoops. Alrighty. Calling unit one Lincoln 18 citizens report of any theft. In, All right, so let's just try to line uh, it up a little bit better, and then we should be good, guys. All right, that sh should kind of sort of do it. You gotta check out the lights too. The lights also work, as you can see. So you have that front light, and then that big spotlight there, and then this is where our heli camera is as well, which is pretty cool. So very, very nice aircraft here. Whoops. Go ahead and shut it off. Let's go ahead and uh, dismiss our partner there. And we'll get out as well. Holy crap! Alright, guess I should have the parking brake there. <laughs> but yeah guys, really do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I do thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to try out Coastal Callouts a little bit early before it is released to the public, definitely check out the Parks Benefact. The program link is down below. Shout out to Skyline GTR Freak as well for bringing us another awesome helicopter. And um, yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!